Right, I'm on ICC. ICC, so we'll try and fit in a game of rapid chess. Okay, so 1709, good luck. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's place a scene for this one, just for some variety. I've still got a provisional rating, so I'm just trying to see how many games I need to play to get away from the actual provisional. Um, he wants to go for one of these gambits. What do I want to do? I'll take the first one, but not the second, I think. Yeah, let's go G6. I'm not a Sicilian player, so just playing this for variety. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. If queen takes then just knight f6 and then knight to c6, it goes with a bishop, so he wants me to take, doesn't he? I'll develop the bishop. I don't think a bishop sack immediately is good here, but it could be, so I'll pre-move in case he does it. Actually, I probably shouldn't pre-move that, should I, because it is rapid. I probably shouldn't pre-move anything in the early stages because it's rapid. I think he really wants me to take that pawn to go off that really rapid development though, so there might come a point where he think, yeah, let's just take it and see what happens. He does indeed, doesn't he? Mm. So I'm just looking at pawn up. Knight takes, knight takes. I don't want to walk into that nonsense. But knight up now, down, is a bit of a technical problem. So I'm just going to play e6 with a view to knight coming to e7 and get castled. Yeah, I probably shouldn't experiment with my openings in the in these slow games. Boy, he really wants me to take, doesn't he? So take, knight takes, knight up now. Hmm. Let's do it now then. Let's do it now. Take on the gamble. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. I'm just going to play knight up and castle and then hope for the best. So he takes... So knight across here and just simply try to cast. I expect a move like bishop down. It could be a little bit annoying, couldn't it? It could be mildly annoying or majorly annoying. Okay, he's played bishop f4, so I assume I just want to get castled here. Bishop in, I'm not concerned with takes. I think I just take back. So... Let's wait for the fireworks to come, shall we? Let's just castle. So is he going to fly everything down the board? And we might we might try something like that and just try and blow the center open. See if we can really open the game up. D5 takes, takes. We can just give a pawn away, swap two pawns for one just to completely open it up. Okay, he's played queen up, so he really wants to put pressure on this pawn. So we can either develop or we can chuck the pawn now. But if we chuck it now, you come across. I can't take because you take here. Hmm. So is knight up a move? Is pawn up a move threatening maybe bishop up? How do we do it? I mean, I could do this as well, but I think you just drop back. I'm just looking at just sacking the pawn. It just feels wrong. It feels wrong. But I don't see what to do about it. I'm actually going to go b6 and bring the bishop up, I think. He might give up the bishop to undermine my knight and take back, but I think that feels fine. It might be a blunder. But it feels like it's... I'm not seeing anything better, so I'll just play what I see. I'm just trying to get the bishop somewhere into play here. Or still think about chucking the pawn, but of course I've got to be careful about the diagonal now. I'll get the cursor off the board so there's no accidental slips there. Okay, so he's flown forward, so I guess the idea there is bishop up, you just advance your pawn. Logical. But his knight is now pinned, but he might again, he might move the knight and want me to take the rook because he's still got his dark bishop. So I'm just going to develop my bishop with a view to coming forward. Maybe swap these two pawns for one just to try and get everything into play. Because if I don't, it's just a permanent backward pawn anyway. So there's not a lot I can do. 
Mm. Could become a problem. Oh, he's played bishop forward. Okay, that I didn't expect. So, is this more of a move now? Or does it allow queen c7? Because he can't then go back here. And we hit the bishop directly. Hmm. I think queen, man, queen c7. What does he do? He drops back and then it gives him a free move with rook across. He want me to take there, queen in, and then knight in, and that's a bit of a problem. So bishop takes, knight takes, that's no good. Hmm. I'm still looking at d5 then. I'm going to play d5 because it's a very dangerous position, this. So I'm going to try and give back two pawns for one. Give my spare pawn back just to try and get pieces into play. Because I don't see anything better to do. So he takes there. No, I'm actually going to take with the knight first. But again, knight takes. If we take here, he could always do the same thing here. But he might want to get rid of my bishop and keep his own because it's a mate threat. So he does take. So I'll just take back. So he's going to check. But I'll probably have to drop back. Knight across is no good. So he has found that rook move. So is there any trick? Knight takes, queen takes, rook takes. There's no knight check. So I don't think there is. I think we just ignore it and develop. Um, but how? How do we do that? Knight across, takes, takes, bishop takes, takes. No, knight across would be a bit of a disaster. Queen up, maybe just knight down. So what about queen here to hit the bishop? Mm. Oh, I've got knight up to hit the pawn. Oh, maybe I just play my knight up and then my queen's well guarded. But where do I play to? If I go to c6, I think you can just ignore it and push. Maybe I've then got knight out wide though. But knight to a6. At least we hit the pawn. I think he can just guard. I'm just going to develop the knight. If it's bad, it's bad. You've got to make moves eventually sooner or later, don't you? So I'll pre-move in case he takes with either piece just to take back. We're already nearly through half of our time now. Okay, so does he go with the queen and play an endgame, or does he go with the knight? I'm very happy to play an endgame. I think he'll go with the knight, then. I need a square for my queen. Probably got a sidestep, maybe c8, but not even. He has gone with the knight. Now, I'd like to play a queen to f6, and I can't. So I assume I go to c8 here. Check, back, allows check. That's actually a serious problem, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it's probably just losing, actually. Probably just losing by forces. It's probably one of them positions where it's just effectively over already. I think it is, isn't it? It's one of them forcing lines. I think it just feels like it's finished. Hmm. There are no moves here, rather. Queen check, and then knight in. That's the problem. I'll have to block with f6. So do I play f6 now then? I'm going to play f6 now and leave my queen in the line of fire. But right now there are no good moves because I can take. Although maybe he can take here, I take, and then he's got check. I guess I can block, but really scary position. Oh, I didn't want to pre-move that. Oops, I was trying to um, just highlight there. I've got to stop doing that just in case I trigger a pre-move that I'm not trying to do. But yeah, queen c3, that's the danger move. And then I ain't got much of a clue what to do. You can imagine queen e8, then queen to f7. That feels really bad. Maybe it's fine, but it feels bad. So he's played rook across first to, set, to stop that. So if I go here, I'm then not guarding my pawn. So what about rook here? 
then if the queen comes across, we're threatening a move like knight over. Let's play rook across. Again, I just don't see another move to do. If the knight moves without a check, I can trade the queen right now. And the knight doesn't have a check. Oh, again, I'm doing it again. I'm accidentally clicking on the board. I hope I'm not pre-moving anything. Let's just click H1 because it's not a legal move, so that should cancel it. Yeah, I'll have to stop doing these markings. But it's a really uncomfortable position, isn't it? Queen B2 maybe might be the move for him. Queen B2. And then what on earth do I do? Actually, what on earth do I do? I've got nowhere to put my queen to. I might have to play rook f7 and then the queen behind the rook or something silly. But yeah, queen b2 I think is the move. Rook f7, then knight. Ah, if knight takes, I can take back. Knight takes, I can take back. Knight to e7, I can run behind to f8 maybe. So rook f7 might be my next move. But I don't really have many moves, whatever my opponent does. That's the problem. It's a really scary position, isn't it? Wow. Get that cursor off the board. Right, so I've got about 50 seconds on the clock. I need to use some of it because it's a really, really hard position this to figure out. But I think he wants the queen on that diagonal to attack my king. I think that's what he needs to do. And I'm not seeing easily what I can do about it. Hmm. Wow, what the heck is this? What sort of a move is knight to g5? So if I take, does it actually give my king a safety square if he then throws a check in? Because you can see the concept of this pawn's gone. Actually, what is the idea behind that? I can't ignore it because he's threatening check. So I think I might have to take, but he can't take with a queen. Rook check is covered for now. So if he throws the queen check in, why can't I just go here? Well, if he checks here and I go here, he's then got a check here, but I just drop back. He can repeat, but that's... I have to take. I can't leave the knight there. It's too dangerous. So that's what he's gone for. So I think... I mean, can I even play rook here? If I go here... Actually, he's gone on the B instead of... I thought he would go to C6 to check. He didn't. He doesn't still have a knight check to win my queen. Now I've got to try and target F2 if I can. Again, I'm clicking on the board when I don't mean to. There, he's attacking me now. And now he does have a check, and I can't actually defend it, so I can't go here. And I'll have to bring my king here. So, is knight up a move? Rook takes. Queen takes, queen takes, no good. Hmm, unbelievable, isn't it? I don't have queen f6. I do have rook f6, so I think. Oh, no, I don't, because my queen's hanging now. My queen is hanging. Unbelievable how he's played this. Mm, unreal, isn't it? I've got to go here. There's no other move. I can't step back if he checks. I have to go here. It's my only move, so I don't need to think about it. It's my only legal move. Here, I guess I have to take. I don't see nothing else. Wait, doesn't that hang the knight? Is it checkmate anyway? He doesn't have a check there or there. He would here. How the heck has he done this? It's unbelievable. This is a bit too far advanced, this, isn't it? This is a bit too advanced. Here, he checks here. Here. I have to take Donna, there's no other move to for it not to be mate, but he doesn't have them two squares. So I have to go here, my only legal move, so you don't have to think about it. Yeah, the summit, not quite right there. That's a little bit too too advanced for my liking, that one. That was a little bit too good, I think, that one. That feels a little bit off, that game. I hope I'm wrong, but it feels a bit off. But let's see what it was in engine speak.
Right, we've got the game ready to import into Lee Chester. Let's see what it actually was, but it did feel a little bit too advanced, that game. Hmm. Very, very sharp, but it just felt a bit too advanced. But let's just see how it actually was. So 91% versus 74%, CPL 22, 67. But that concept at the end was... So in this position we'll level... Oh, I'm black for this game, aren't they? That concept for the mate at the end was a little bit advanced for my liking, so... The knight there was a blunder. I should have gone here to leave the bishop open. Mm. But yeah. So that was actually a mistake. What do we do? So taking was fine. And I had to drop back there and allow the potential knight check. I had to allow these moves and give up the queen. But yeah. If I do that, maybe I'm still in the game, but... Mm. Again, here, I have to give up the queen. It does feel really advanced the way he's played this, so... Yeah. Mm. A little bit sceptical. 